Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. Today let's talk about importing external geometries or external CAD files in ComSol software. Before we move on to the today's topic, I request you to watch the entire playlist to understand geometries in ComSol in a better way. Without any delay, let's carry on with today's topic. So initially we have to understand what is the source of this external CAD file. So you wish to generate your own CAD files, you can you can develop the files in various softwares like AutoCAD, there are uh, uh, soft, other softwares like FreeCAD, SolidWorks. So those softwares can be used for making your geometry. And one caution here I want to tell you, uh, if you are uh, working with a complicated geometry, then only go for external importing files otherwise there are many options in comsol so you can make your own geometry in comsol software itself so it is better to make your geometry in comsol but you do not have any option if your geometry is too much complicated then only go for this option now for for the purpose of learning what i have done is i have downloaded the files from a from an web from a website so here is the website so Initially, I will download a 2D DXF file. So just note it. This is the file format DXF file. So I have already downloaded. I will tell you how to download. Say this particular geometry I have downloaded. So if you just click here and then click on DXF file, not here. Yeah, if you click on download, it will be downloaded. I have already downloaded it and that's why I am not downloading it again. So now go to console interface. So this is the console interface. So let us import the geometry. So for that you have to right click on geometry. There is an option import. I click on it. Then you can see there is an option browse. So I browse through the file. So this is the file I have already downloaded. So I click on it. And now I click on build select. So you see the geometry which uh, I have shown you that is already imported here and I have also taken for the purpose of understanding I have taken a laminar flow geometry and you can see the file is well integrated and you can select separate regions because selecting separate regions boundaries is important when you are making something uh, some computational work like I'll tell you if I give say an inlet so I need to have one boundary to choose so you see whichever boundary you need you can choose it from this say this boundary you can actually choose it and if this is uh, not possible then you have to divide the section sometimes what happens the file is integrated and you will not be able to choose a particular edge in that case there are many other options so I will make another video on it but the thing is when you make your own geometry you make it in uh, in an appropriate way so that your edges and everything will be accessible so this is one of the um, one of the things you should understand before you uh, work with importing external files so this is the thing which I have shown with for the 2d geometries now let us go for the 3d geometry say let us take a 3d interface so i click here i'm not yeah let us take laminar flow just for the sake of learning uh, then in the study let us take time dependent it's taking some time just a minute yeah now for 3d i prefer to work with STL files because STL file format is a popular file format and we generally uh, we generally obtain STL files for different purposes like 3D printing nowadays 3D printing is very uh, common and in 3D printing basically we use STL files and the softwares like AutoCAD, uh, FreeCAD they support STL uh, import I mean exportable file format so for the purpose of learning again i have downloaded the xtl file from a website so i'll show you so this is a this is a website where uh, there are various stl files uh, various designs have been made and those are available uh, free of cost 
few are free of cost few are i mean uh, some cost will be there but uh, for the, for the learning purpose i have downloaded a very simple geometry so i have downloaded this one and uh, yeah i'll show you now again i go to import right by right clicking on geometry and then browse so yeah before we go to browse you should select the file format so if you click on the drop down there is an option mesh or 3d printing files because this is very important to choose this option because this works nicely if you can see the meshing on this 3d geometry becomes very easier if you are working with the stl files so yeah now i again click on browse so you can see two stl files i have downloaded let me choose this one and build selected so yeah this is the file you can just see again yeah this is the file which i have downloaded this one yeah this was available on internet i have downloaded it and i have just imported here now let's see yeah this is accessible you can see all the geometry is entire geometry is chosen uh, if you just want to look at whether you can put inlet or outlet i mean you can select the planes yeah you can see you can select the planes uh, let us just for the purpose of learning only let us take another outlet let me put somewhere here the outlet is this is not an appropriate geometry maybe the uh, there will be convergence issue with the simulation but for the purpose of learning geometry this is okay i just want to show, show you that uh, we can choose inlet outlet that means different portions of the geometry is accessible you can put mesh on it you see uh, let us now work with extra course mesh see yeah uh, mesh is created so this is meshable uh, let's choose some material here say water yeah water is chosen here now everything is given i guess let us try to simulate uh, let's make the time step little bit less so that it doesn't take much of time to simulate yeah i have chosen 0.001 the last time step and each time step is 0 0.001 uh, let us uh, start computing So you can see the simulation is being started. There is no issue as of now, but it might be there will be convergence issue because this is not an appropriate geometry to work with the fluid flow. But still, you can see the simulation is running. Maybe it will not converge again. I'm telling, uh, but you can import geometry. You can choose your edges and you can define your physics and you can run your simulation so that was all about today's topic i hope this this will help you and uh, please carry on with our upcoming videos we will be making more videos on geometry series thank you very much